okay classic 5 liter Mustang fans. Fox body and 9495 SN95. The question is now that parts have just about become obsolete for these old Kenny Bell units, the 1.5 and the 2.2, which supposedly interchange, you can put the 2.2 on these manifolds and put a bypass in here and you're good but trouble is finding them anymore well the 2.2's I found one but the guy wanted 2500 bucks for it so I said you know what maybe it's time to switch to something else so I thought well maybe the generation 1 Whipple chargers will fit you know, because basically, if you if you look at them, they're they're pretty similar, and they are pretty similar, but they're different enough. Because this is a 2.3 Whipple Gen One here that I've got, and I wouldn't have gotten it unless I I had other plans for it other than just fitting in place of the 1.5. Um, I wasn't expecting it to, and it won't because. Here we've got five bolts on the output the discharge here we've got this sixth one and see how it's in further than the outer ones that's because <coughs> there's kind of a ribbon here on the opcon and the bolt would go right there so, you're going to leave that hole open. I mean, physically, I checked this out and back here. The spacing and everything is the same. So the rear manifold will bolt up. The discharge will, will bolt up except for that, that hole being a problem. But, I mean, you can get around that if you wanted to. The main, the big difference here is that they use different drives. Um, if you were to pull this drive out, you would see there's three pins that drive the unit. On the uh, Kenny Bell, it's there's like three gears, rotors that that go in there. So they're they're, they're completely different and won't interchange. So that's not that's not going to work. So I thought, well, maybe I can get this drive. The length I need it to, to, to fit on there. And they're not offered in the, in the necessary length that you need. You could have one custom made. Um, there's a, actually a site, Lysholm, yeah. Lysholm still will make you a custom drive for it. But uh, you're looking at over 500 bucks. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to totally change the whole process here. And I'm going to make the, the Whipple a direct drive up here. And the discharge, flip it around. The pulley's going to take the place of where the air conditioner is. It's going to be a bottom discharge. And we're going to go across to an intercool water to air intercooler and come up but that's a whole different project I, I just wanted to touch base where I was with this right now so uh, and my flashlight is dying so yeah that's it I mean if anybody had the question will the Whipple 2.3 take the place of the Kenny Bell 1.5 or 1.2 if you want to make those changes, if you are serious about it, I mean, I guess there's some way to get past that bolt and uh, get a custom-made drive, but uh, I'm not doing that. I got, I want, it, it, what's the point? If you're going to put a 2.3 on here, you're going to pump it up, and it's got to be intercooled, so there's got to be another way. And that's it um, for this update. I'll get back to you soon.
with the next.